I have to make an official announcement. I am officially Hype Beast certified. My post from this morning about Kmart selling Supreme t-shirts has made the front page of the Kmart Twitter page. They have picked up my tweet and retweeted it and even put little goat symbols on top of my retweet. So I'm officially Hype Beast Kmart Supreme Collab Certified. And uh, it's pretty legit. So uh, respect this. Well, the adventure starts today. Here we are in the man size 13 Dodge Ram. And uh, I'm going to hit up some Kmarts today. I'm going to hit up uh, four Kmarts, one Kmart in um, Indianapolis, actually, two in Indianapolis on West Washington Street and Thompson Road. Hit up a Kmart in Elwood, Indiana. And hit up a Kmart in Anderson, Indiana to try to find some of those blank Supreme t shirts. Because they're out there. There is a Kmart in Brownsburg, Indiana. Uh, which is close to me, but a subscriber already hit that store and cleaned them out. So uh, let me try these other four. And tomorrow, I might stretch out a little bit more and go to other parts of Indiana and look. We'll see. So uh, let's uh, let's do this um, Supreme Searching Kmart vlog together. Let's go. Quarter past four, left the club tipsy. Here at the first Kmart on uh, West Washington Street in Indianapolis, Indiana. And honestly, I've been to Kmart in years. It's, it, 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 it might be like 10 freaking years. But um, the outside of this building, like, man, it is dilapidated. I guess most Kmarts probably look like this one, I bet. But uh, let's go inside, let's check it out. Let's see if we can find any of those Supreme shirts. I've got a whole bunch of these kind of t-shirts brand called classic fit but i can't find any supreme here at the first kmart and they got a whole bunch of this brand though and uh these shirts are pretty crappy quality first kmart no go no shirts going over to kmart number two on a uh, thompson road on the south side of indianapolis see what they got just made to kmart number two on uh east thompson road in indianapolis this one actually looks a little bit more uh, upscale, not so dilapidated. So hopefully this one might have some better stuff, some more stuff, maybe some Supreme shirts. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. I found a rack here. Well, there might be some, maybe. No, so if there was a rack, this is what would have the Supreme shirts. Possible the store already got hit by somebody else. Here's one with the tag call. It might have been Supreme. All oh, these have their tags cut off. This might have been a Supreme. A lot of people saying the ones with the tags cut off are the Supreme ones. Yeah, those quite a few black ones with missing tags. Yeah, all these black ones are missing their tags. I bet those were supreme. The white one's missing its tag. Yeah, most of these black ones are missing their tags. So, yeah, I think this one did have supreme on it, but Kmart cut the tags off like they're supposed to do. So, I'm in the next door. Right now we're driving through Anderson, Indiana. Anderson is a little, uh, kind of like a little little podunk town um, about, I'd say 25 miles north of Indianapolis. Anderson is a very, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a pretty white redneck kind of a town. Um, this town's, it's kind of going to crap slowly. A lot of uh, 
businesses here are closing down. Like, uh, they lost their Sears four or five years ago, shut down. I know early 2016, uh, their Target shut down. Their mall is over there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but their mall is freaking pathetic. Most of the shops there, they've moved out. Um, of course, their uh, Kmart is closing down right now. They're going out of business. So, Anderson, Indiana, business-wise, consumer-wise, kind of sucks right now. So, if you're from this area of the state, um, <laughs> good luck to you guys because uh, places are leaving. So, uh, I got a few more miles before I hit the Kmart here in Anderson. Let's see what they got. This this Kmart is actually closing down. Uh, let's think it's July 13th, I think, was the day when they started their going out of business sale. And they're supposed to take, I think, like two months, maybe three, for them to officially go out of business and shut the store down. So hopefully, since this is one of the, K the Kmart's closing, they might have a few good things left of Supreme shirts. So uh, a few more miles, we'll be there. Here we are at the third Kmart in Anderson, Indiana. This one's going out of business sale, so hopefully we find some good stuff in here. Let's go. Here's a rack of the $4 t-shirts. If there's any Supremes, this is where they'll be. Still nothing. Almost all the way through this rack. Still just all the way through this rack, and there's nothing. It appears this place is supreme free. Here we are driving pretty much uh, <laughs> the major big country roads of Indiana. I'm actually heading up to uh, Elwood, Indiana right now, which is a tiny town in Indiana, uh, about, oh, 16 miles north of Anderson, where I just was the Kmart, and struck out again, but this will be my last stop, fourth and last stop for today for Kmarts. And, uh, if you're from like a bigger city, let's say if you're from uh, LA or New York, Houston, you know, and don't really get out much to uh, rural, like Midwest America, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is rural Midwest America, where uh, you've got houses maybe half a mile apart, uh, cornfields, uh, let's see, I think here, I'm not sure what they're planting, might be soybeans. It's probably soybeans. And uh, sometimes it's just, it is kind of fun just to drive the back roads in Indiana. Because uh, I live in the north side of uh, Indianapolis. And uh, some of these like little drives like this, it's very peaceful. Because like the nearest house is way up the road. So, uh, be in Elwood here in a, in a few minutes, but for you guys, it'll be right now. No luck. Back in the truck, the man size 13 truck. Just went pre pretty much in and right out of this camera right here in Elwood, Indiana. This Kmart is like small as shit. It's probably like the size of like a, a CVS, like a Walgreens. The uh, closed apartment was literally like probably a 20 by 20 inch or a foot kind of area for the men's. It was very small. Um, I think uh, some places bathrooms are bigger than what this Kmart was. So I pretty much, I walked in, walked back to the clothes, looked around at the 20, like 20 by 20 uh, foot area and I walked back out. There wasn't shit in that Kmart. Very, very small Kmart. It might be the smallest one I've ever ever been in my life. But today with the four Kmarts, all four, or I should say three out of the four, had the 
American Apparel uh, shirts, but none of these Supreme American Apparel shirts. So, but um, pretty much when you go into your Kmart, most of them are in the front of the store by what they call Deal Flash. Most of these stores will have a spot set up that says Deal Flash, and you'll see Deal Flash on toys, um, electronics, and there's a always a clothes rack that says um, all shirts $4. Um, and on that clothes rack, or they're all American apparel shirts um, that they make for different companies that Kmart bought out on liquidation. And uh, what was it? I think the second store I went to, I found a mess of the black uh, $4 shirts with the tags cut off. And uh, like Kmart was supposed to cut off the Supreme tags, most stores didn't. But I think I found a, uh, a stash of them at the second Kmart that I went to on uh, Thompson Road in Indianapolis. I think those were the Supreme shirts, but without the Supreme tags on them, you know, nobody knows if it's a Supreme or if it's just a uh, like a hand or a, 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 a Hanes or a Gildenbrand shirt. That stupid little Supreme tag on that shirt is vital. So I think I found some, but without the tag on it, you know, it's worthless. So if you're on the hunt, check your Kmart's because it looks like every Kmart, well, at least here. Um, this one here didn't have that $4 um, rack of shirts, but I think most Kmarts will have the, a, it's called a Deal Flash $4 American apparel shirts, and you'll see, uh, and you'll see them at your Kmart. So check out your Kmarts, because on my timeline on Twitter, a lot of people, I'd say at least a dozen from all around the country have found Supreme shirts at Kmart today. People are finding them. They're out there and people are selling them. And they're making like 20, 25 times at least, uh, or I shouldn't say 20, 10 times maybe of what they paid for them. So there's money to be made. Just go out there and hunt, drive around. Like I drove a total today of maybe about 150 miles. I did a huge loop around central Indiana today. But you know, it was fun. Saw a bunch of Kmarts and um, that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed this Supreme Kmart searching vlog, because huh, it was enjoyable. It, it got me out going to Kmart the first time in probably a decade. So, search for these shirts, you'll find them. As always, subscribe to my channel. Um, big thumbs up, big thumbs down, whatever you want for this video. Hit me up on Twitter at Franchise Kicks, at um, Instagram at Franchise Kicks. Any kind of success with Supreme Kmart shirts, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter, hit me up and show me pictures. You know, let's see what you found. I'm curious. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.